I'm standing here together with Tomasz Kopitz. I'm looking forward to talk with you. What about you? Good morning. <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> for today's interview. First of all, um, uh, let me ask, what is your favorite machine? You stand behind it. We have new generation electric machines driven with new trends. I'm so happy that we are first one in the market who make complete electric machine. First one to introduce, first one to start production. So that's my baby over here. That's your baby? That's this one here? Yep. Yeah, really? Full that's a nice one. Fully CO2. I thought no maybe floor. you like a bigger one, but that's a nice one too, yes. There is a bigger one too behind <laughs> us. The big ones with 15 tons, the new generation asphalt for, for paving. Also, we have a lot of news today on the, on the Bauma with new products, and this is for us a very important show to introduce new generations. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, we have uh, a lot of uh, exciting news and uh, to share. That's why we do yeah. Alman TV. Yeah. How does Alman put its focus to continually uh, producing relevant products? We're talking with our customers because we are a small company but very focused on road construction. We're talking with customers. We have customer base for a long time. Plus, we have a very experienced team. Mm -hmm. So we try to really get the knowledge from the inside. Yeah. And of course, uh, we study in competition quite well. And, but uh, this is really the driver of our innovations from customers and inside knowledge. So you need to know what they truly need here. Yeah? Exactly, because yeah. the, this is B2B business. They know very well what they, what they want for the job sites. So we try to be close to them and follow. Tomas, let's talk about productivity. What's happening in this front? As you know, it's all about the money. This is business. So in this, uh, this industry, the customers are now very focused on, on costs. And this goes productivity which in our case means number of passes, number of damages, you know, effectivity, productivity of compaction. That's why uh, we introduced uh, the ACE technology, which is a family of ACE products with intelligent compaction, limiting number of passes, limiting energy user consumption, and of course making the highest possible productivity for our customers. One of uh, Amon's DNA is also ergonomics, so how you make sure you provide that? One of the big topics, because customers pay more and more attention to driver's comfort. So basically we spend a lot of attention on design of cabins, HMIs, the displays, ergonomy for the driver, visibility from the machines. And this is one of our DNA factors of Oman, that drivers feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's also increasing productivity because they work well and smooth. Yeah. And the cabins are just comfortable, visible. They are. And they are yes, cool. I checked it out yesterday. Yeah, really and comfortable. A new HMI. You could sleep in there. Yeah, you can sleep in there <laughs> after shift. Yeah. And the new HMI with a fantastic display, it's everything touch screen. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I have to say, it looks really nice and it's comfortable. <laughs> yep, it is. <laughs> Actually, I'm not kidding. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the third main point is serviceability. Can you explain to us the importance? Yeah, yeah you touched one of the basic points. In this industry, the major part of the cost of lifetime of machines is service. And the customer needs to service machines easily, fast, cheap. That's why all the design of the machines is designed the way you can service them easily, you can touch all the components from the ground, you can open all the doors quickly, yeah. and you can change the parts easy, very fast. And that's all in DNA of these machines. Of that's crucial, yeah. Let's talk about sustainability. So uh, what is your mission? It's e-mission in a month. Mm -hmm. Because we care, of course, we care about environment. Uh, we covered all the programs in a month uh, by the program which is called e-mission. And we started today talking about electric, with the first machines. And this is the first pioneers in this program. It's not only electric, but it's also all emissions, all the impact on the environment. So in this umbrella, we have programs like EcoDrop, mm -hmm. which are limiting the potential spills of oil from the machines to the ground, yeah. which are limiting the fuel consumption of machines. So basically, if you look at current machines, it's a complex development, as we discussed today. Uh, environment of drivers, serviceability, mm -hmm. economical, ergonomical, ecological aspects. These machines are now like really completely different machines to 10 years ago. And that's, that's where we're going and that's what we aim in a while. Yeah. yeah, a lot is changing for good. Definitely for good. And this is also good that this is not only good for good, but it's also economical for the customers. It's, yeah, uh, these machines are really powerful, powerful tools for the customers. Thomas, let's talk about the digitalization, what's new in this field. Yeah, big thing, big trend upcoming. We started, mm -hmm. uh, right now we can see the first results. Most of machines are equipped with telematic solutions, mm -hmm. which basically allows our customers to have all data online, real time, and improve maintenance of the machines, improve logistics of machines. We're going heavily into this. 
The, we continue with autonomous driving, which is not a big trend. So basically very soon, I think next Bama when we talk, you will see that all these machines will drive autonomously. They will think communicate. So. Absolutely. <laughs> this is how very far in it. Yeah. Yeah, the, I mean it starts already today with the light exactly, equipment, yeah. Exactly, it starts with today. Telematics together with autonomous driving, with yeah. intelligent compaction. Basically these machines will do it themselves and uh, it will be not a big step in cost, in environment, safety. So that's what's happening uh, now heavily and you will see it next round very, very much heavy on the stand. Tomasz, it has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. I've learned a lot. You're welcome, Mary, and uh, <laughs> see you next time in Bama again. Definitely. So thanks for watching and see you next time.